today with my best friend in the world, Abby, and we have a special segment today. We're gonna call it Cannolis with Cannoli. This is me and Logan's new puppy, Cannoli. We thought that she looks like a cannoli because she is a blue tick beagle, so she has all these speckles on her. And so we thought it would be fun to make some cannolis with her if she doesn't ouch attack us. Let's just go ahead and start by telling you what ingredients you need. The first thing you need to do is grab your mixer and put on the dough hook attachment because we are about to make the dough for the shells. You need to add in two cups of flour. <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe I should get a smaller cup. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. We're also doing a fourth a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One of the two eggs. So one of the two eggs in the bowl. Two tablespoons of shortening. One tablespoon of wait, sugar. Wait, 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 wait. One tablespoon, yes. One tablespoon? Okay. One tablespoon of granulated sugar. Ooh, there we go. And just smooth like that. <laughs> Half a cup of your white wine. So next we are going to mix this at a medium low speed for eight minutes until a dough starts to form. So. We'll catch you in eight. Okay. Oh. <laughs> After about five minutes of mixing, this is what our dough looks like. Cannoli approves of it. She likes that. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it in some plastic wrap and you have to let it sit at room temperature for 30 minutes. Yeah. Now that our dough is resting, we're going to make the filling. Two cups of ricotta and one cup of marscapone we will do next. This is eight ounces. Look at that. And meanwhile, I'm going to get one cup of powdered sugar out. I really want to eat it. I don't think I've wanted to eat something more in my whole life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> next, a fourth teaspoon of brown cinnamon. And now we need three fourths cup of mini crap. I was supposed to get mini chocolate yeah, chips. I told you mini, but we're gonna chop them. We're gonna chop them. Chop and chocolate. And we started this a little late, so little cannoli is very tired. But when she wakes up, we'll have a really good dessert. Why don't we go back in with the whisk after what we learned last time? Well, hopefully the whisk is a little bit kinder. It kind us. of looks like bark a little bit. Now we cover the bowl and refrigerate. So it was still just combined. So now the chips are in, we just cover it and refrigerate it for 30 minutes. Okay. Lightly floured surface. That looks good, right? Hopefully. You just never know what, what dough will do. Also, we didn't address the fact that we're wearing Oh yeah. Opposing shirts right now. We both went to uh rival schools. Great Texas schools. And uh, one is just a little bit better than the other, and that's the only difference between them. And we'll let you decide which one's better. <laughs> Here's where we'll insert some fun, uplifting music. So the next step is to cut out all of the little circles. So it's said to use something like a four inch cookie cutter, but we happen to have the lid to these containers. Evidently we're supposed to get 12. I we'll re -roll. don't know about that. So we're going to eventually put it around these cannoli molds, so we need to make it a little longer. Hey, I'm gonna use the cannoli mold as a bit of a rolling pin. How precious. Yes. And try to get this into a five inch oval. So we rolled out our dough into five inch. <laughs> what is it, cannoli? Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now that we have our five inch ovals, we can start putting them around the molds. So we only have four molds. You know, he's definitely gonna <laughs> Exactly what Abby's doing is right. You take the cannoli mold, you roll the dough around it, and then on one end, you put a little bit of egg wash, which is just one, <laughs> which is just one egg, <laughs> just one egg whisked together. So you take some of it, you put it on the end, and then you fold it over and smush it a little bit to seal it. So the egg wash is supposed to kind of hold it in place and you seal it around the mold loosely. And then we can get frying. We poured this entire bottle of canola oil into this pot and we're about to toss one in. Yes. Oh, so satisfying. Ooh, so the, <laughs> the oil is at 350 and you're supposed to leave it in here turning it for about eight minutes until it's golden brown. <laughs> Here's how all of our cannolis look after being fried. We went back and rolled them thinner so that they wouldn't be as thick, exactly. And this one had a bubble, so we actually poked little holes with a fork in all of the other ones so that they wouldn't bubble up. But this is how they look, and now it's time to fill them. Abby's already trying it out. We're here for the taste test. Cannoli is here. <laughs> Let's eat the ugly ones. Okay. One, two. That's beautiful. Three. It's pretty good. Yeah. Logan, try one. That was cute. Okay. Don't choose the cute. Perfect. It's pretty oh, good. Very crunchy. <laughs> yeah. It's thick. Oh, she launched <laughs> at it. Do you like it? Oh my god. You love it so much? <laughs> oh, she thinks you. She approves. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We had tons of fun making cannolis. As you can see, we already ate like all of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. That was so cute.